running for a cause. You know, while many of us will never attempt even one marathon in our lives or even a half marathon, there's a local attorney embarking on his sixth marathon in six days. Talk about positively. Jack's News for Jack's reporter Zach Lajway joins us live. This lawyer turned up Iron Man, I guess you could call him, getting ready to head out soon for his final big run. Good morning, Bruce. This is a great story. It's a great day to get out and run and to finish his final marathon, his sixth marathon within six days. Joining me this morning is Mike Freed, founder of Freed to Run. Thank you so much for joining us at the finish line of your final marathon. I'm happy to be here. Thanks for covering it. So you are going to, in a few hours, get on a bus, go to McClenny, right. start running there and run back we east, yes. east, do you know my directions, toward Jacksonville to the Duval County Courthouse. That's right. Yeah, we've done this now for six days in a row. Started Sunday at the Supreme Court in Tallahassee and have gone courthouse to courthouse each day to bring awareness to the justice gap. That's basically people that can't afford lawyers and access to the legal system. Um, getting resources and getting free lawyers through Jacksonville Area Legal Aid and other like organizations uh, to have that access and in particular pediatric patients who are dealing with uh, all kinds of chronic illness and terminal illnesses and have accompanying legal problems that will help them improve their uh, their outcome. Obviously you identified a local need here throughout the Jacksonville area but you were saying uh, earlier that this is really a national issue. It really is. I mean, there's a right to a lawyer in criminal proceedings. Everyone knows that, but not in civil proceedings. So people dealing with landlord and tenant issues or domestic violence or any of the myriad of problems that may impede people um, moving on with their life and becoming uh, more viable citizens locally um, is impeded by these legal challenges. And what better of a way to raise awareness and funds than to run marathons from courthouse to courthouse to courthouse. Uh, this year, Last year was the inaugural run. This year is the second annual freed uh, run. You have a um, challenge from a local hospital. Yeah, actually, Baptist Health has uh, done an incredible job of putting up a million two hundred and fifty thousand dollars because this is a, a medical and a, a legal issue, and these uh, the medical system itself is impeded by these challenges that can only be solved by a lawyer in the legal system. So they put up a million two fifty. If we can raise a million in five years, um, we're on our way to doing that, and we've got three more years to go. So uh, all donations are appreciated, and they're all matched by one hundred and twenty five percent. Every dollar someone contributes gets matched one hundred and twenty five percent and all of that goes to an endowment that will support a person in this position in perpetuity. And what's really impressive about this is you were telling me that you weren't ever a runner growing up. You just only started running within the past few years? Yeah, I mean, I, I sort of came up with the idea and then learned how to run to do it. But it's, it's about so much more at this point. It's about relay teams and, and everybody pulling their weight and raising money. So uh, I'm proud to have started it, but I'm so glad that it's turned into so much more than just one little lawyer running across the state. Mike, I have to ask you this. Your age. Uh, just turned 50 this year. Just turned 50. Mm -hmm. Well, happy belated birthday. Thank you for what you are doing. It's an awesome cause. Wish you the best of luck today on your sixth marathon within six days. And again, you're hoping to finish here in front of the Duval County Courthouse at what time? Uh, around 4 o'clock today. We'll have a big celebration on the courthouse lawn, so come on down. Awesome. Thank you very much again.